Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are in a different setting. As you can see, this is my living room. Don't mind the mess, the dirty. I know my sofas are not the cleanest, but I have kids and they've been at home for six weeks and they've just recently just gone back to school. So I will get this taken off, removable. These are removable so you can just remove them to wash. But anyway, besides that, um, I am be doing, I'm gonna be doing something a bit different today. So <sighs> any mothers who knows you're always stressed and I searched up what is the best thing to relieve your stress and yoga was one of them but there's one problem I have never done yoga before so I thought what is the best way to do this so I thought hmm where's my phone I need to get this on camera I am going to be starting off I've got my tv up on the wall I'm going to be literally watching from my tv and doing it behind me here the yoga is it called yoga for complete beginners because that's why i am i am let me tell you i am as stiff as plank from ed 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 he's more flexible than i am i am no have no flexibility at all none whatsoever i can't even lift my leg up <laughs> i can't even lift my leg up that's how bad it is so it's bad but so we're just going to get started. I'm just going to go quickly blow my nose. I'll be back and we are going to get this video started before I start rumbling on too much. Before it turns into an hour video. Okay. Hey guys, I am back. I have blown my nose and I'm about to start the video. Uh, just to let you know, I have got the squeakiest floor of the whole of the United Kingdom. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. I am wearing, you're probably going to see a lot of Le Coach Eddie. But this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my workout leggings with my pockets. And I'm wearing my Jurassic Park shirt that I bought from Primark. So this is what you're gonna be seeing a lot. And she's sitting on the floor, so we're gonna be sitting on the floor. And I've got my PS4 controller and we are just gonna get started. Okay. Take a second here to check in with the breath. And when you loosen your shoulders a couple times forward, up and back. Oh, things are clicking. Loosen forward. Exhale, rolling down and back. Huh? Why, um... Oh, God, things are really clicking on my shoulder. Oh, God. Yeah, I can feel the stretch there. She's basically just doing some basic, like, stretching. Bring the head over the heart, the heart over the pelvis. So take a second here to close your eyes or soften the gaze. So if you just go inward a little bit here, you'll be fine. What? Head over heart, heart over pelvis. So you lift heart of the pelvis? What the fuck is that? Come down through the elbow if you're wanting to. Find a nice space between the ears and the shoulders. You're just going to come into the moment. I'm so confused. Integrity, whatever that means to you. For me, it means body awareness. What's the heart of the pelvis? Awareness, noticing how my thoughts are, and coming back to that body awareness. And then see if you can begin to deepen your breath here. Nice I'm going to fast line. forward this, because... Very nice, long, juicy exhale. Take that down nice. And each oh. time you turn twist the great little beginner's foot, each time we come to this mudra, we call it arms in mudra, you can think about lifting your bacon. Your pelvis. That was my breakfast this morning. We can come to sit in lunge to loop the shoulders and lift the Ooh. spine to the thumbs each time we turn the wrist and oh. the heart over the top. I can feel everything clicking. My back is hurting. So practice that now. Inhale, lift your sternum up to your thumbs. While your lower belly or navel in to meet your spine. Sorry if I look confused because. Into this active body, but with a sense of ease. Can you just do the yoga, yoga please? A wonderful tool for beginning a yoga practice. It's kind of finding the balance between active body, yep. strength, engaging qualities, and then also softness and ease, a lightness, a calmness, if you will. Don't waste the fingertips. Follow your breath as you inhale, press the palms forward, up and back. 
nice and easy there. Just climb up the side, body. Climb up the spine. <gasps> Why is this making me yawn? It shouldn't be called yoga. It should be called yona. Yo yona. That's a bad joke. Oh, my arm. <sighs> I told you. I can't even do the basics. What is this? Oh my god, this really hurts my arms. Oh my god, the back of my ribs. I can definitely feel my spine already. To have an experience in our body. So don't crank yourself into the posture. Have the experience of gently moving into the space. There's no gentleness about this. She's making it sound like it's easy. You don't want to really clap. The same thing. Take it to the other side. Left hand oh. to the right knee. Sit up nice and tall. This time I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my spine here. The tendency is going to be to run. Do what she does. Okay? So no worries. And in time, we're going to basically she's nice half the size that I am. So. Tailbone down, yeah. lower back becomes nice and long. Heart lifts, shoulder blades ground down, and we find our twist. So what I'm trying to say here is don't sacrifice this lift in the heart and this length in the spine for a deeper twist. Up, to just the right. Trust me, I'm not like doing a twist if you twist. I'm so doing it the minimum what I can. Feels right. <laughs> what feels good. So it doesn't feel good. Trust me. All the way far back to front. Keep a nice, mindful twist here. Using that exhale to bring it a little deeper, even if it's just energetically. It hurts. Let me out, bitch. And then gently, gently releasing back to center. Ugh, trust me, I'm okay, doing it gently. Oh, you go with the hand stretches again. <sighs> Problems my arms, they dislocate, so I can't be doing this. Side body stretch, nice and easy. Keep grounding through the legs, lift the legs out to front here. Stay nice and active. Hop from side spine now. Okay, plant your left palm or left fingertips. Yogi's choice, beginner yogi's choice. So press into the palms or the fingertips and then send the right fingertips up, think up, 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 oh, gosh. and then go over. Careful not to just go over, trying to mimic an asana that you may have seen before. Have an oh, inhale. Reach the stretch. Lift in the heart and then exhale, side body stretch. Now here we're not going to hold. Oh, we're going to set the tone for our yoga practice and our yoga journey. Yeah. We're finding a little self-expression, finding a little movement here. You might stay up and down, front and back. You might close your Why eyes. Why are you so relaxed? Out. I'm in pain. Right, yoga the fingertips. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in and exhale swiftly through center <sighs> and to the other side. Creating space in the body. Connecting to the breath. Remember, there's no right or wrong here. So, try to the elbow. I'm going to run. You look so happy. Bitch, aren't you in pain? I am not enjoying this. Thank you. Swiftly return back to center. And then we'll take the palms and dive forward onto all fours. Oh, God. She's getting on her knees. I haven't got a mat, so. Oh, so sorry. Now the most important thing I can teach you at this moment is to connect with this upper current of energy, whatever this means to you. And that means not collapsing into the bones here, but pressing up and onto the earth. Okay? That means connecting what is she to the doing? other foundation, all parts of the body that's pressing into the mat. And then remembering to find that integrity, head and the heart, heart of the pelvis. But the heart, what the fuck is the heart of the pelvis? I'm going to re-google this, because what the fuck is the heart of the pelvis? I can still work with that alignment, head, heart. Can you hurry up? Any palm drawing my shoulders away from the ears. And I'm remembering that my head and this neck is an extension of the spine. So I'm not hanging out here, I'm not crunching here. But I'm going ahead and taking the gaze down for now and finding a nice, long, beautiful neck. Great, you might feel a little bit of pressure in the arms and the wrists here. No shit, really? Out of the palms, so that you can begin to build strength rather than collapse into the bones. 
Can you hurry the fuck up, please, Ma? I can't feel my hands. Inhale, lift the shoulders, drop the belly. Hold on, This is making me want to go for a poo. Hurry up. My neck is clicking. On the exhale, I start at my tailbone. I travel up the spine, walking up the spine until the crown of the head is the last thing to release. Take a breath, start to veer in and out, letting the weight of the head go. Navel this actually feels kind of good. Oh, both my hands are literally swollen. To the feet here, I'm pressing up and out of the palm. Deep breath in, inhale, looping the shoulders. Out, radiate forward. My hands, literally, I will show you my hands after. Fuck. My arm, my hands got more veins than almost watched niggas legs. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Can we move on, please? Oh, thank fucking God. Look. Oh, this really hurts. Oh, my hands are clicking. You're going back and all fours. Oh, everyone's used to being on fours like you. I'm from the next side. Oh, this feels right. this feels really good. I've been running, so this is really helping my legs. This doesn't look healthy. This is yoga, I promise. I hope you heard that click. Shit. Oh, my hands are hurting. Bitch, my wrist is hurting. Uh, this feels really good on the legs. I'm not gonna lie. But it, everything's clicking. I'm trying. Oh, fucking great. I'm literally moving off camera. This is not healthy. As my forehead maybe comes to the mat here, my heart may expand towards the knees. Now, if your shoulders are having waves of pain right now, maybe you pulse in and out of it a couple times. We call this Anahata Asan, or heart to earth pose. This is like a puppy posture. Oh, right? earth to heart pose? I mean, like a half the like fuck that. do you mean? Take a couple breaths here, slow a little from side to side. I'm not swinging my ass from side to side. But it just looks unhealthy as it is. Do you know what? <laughs> I can't do this. I'm using my breath as a tool to move beyond the pain. I was tilting up towards the sky. Heart to earth. What the hell? What do you mean, heart to earth? You mean your chest to the floor? And then slowly, one leg at a time, nice and slow, I'm going to lift the sit bones up. Uh, oh my god! Uh, this hurts! Uh, it's a cramp! I got a cramp on my leg! <laughs> Fuck this shit, I ain't doing it over again. I'm gonna stop. Shut up. Just shut up. Don't talk to me anymore. I'm back. Yeah, so that's how my yoga went. I got a cramp in my leg. And I'm in more pain than I actually was. I'm not as stressed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not as, it literally did, it made me more tired than I actually was. I told you this is not supposed to be called yoga. It's supposed to be called your yawner because it literally just made me yawn most of the time and i really need to go to the bathroom because this stretching literally has my belly effed up 
But will I be doing this again? Hell to the no. I literally just stretched my legs and I got a cramp in my leg. So hell to the no. So let me know if you enjoyed this. If you enjoy this and you want another video, let me know. Um, I'll be trying harder positions, probably, maybe. Or I'll continue doing this. I don't know. But yeah, if you like this video, please give a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.